amazing. Before you were born again, you were outside. You were annihilated from the life of God. You were annihilated from the kingdom. You couldn't go to the places where angels were, where cherubims were, seraphims were, or the throne of God, or the temple of God in the spirit. See how Jesus was moving from one place to the other. Number one, he moved from earth to heaven, went to the temple, came back, and was appearing, disappearing in different on earth. And then finally, he went to the throne room. When you became born again, you were given the ability to walk in the spirit, just like Jesus Christ did. So you could go into the temple of God. You could go into the throne of God. You can also appear in a place without walking through walls, without using the door. So the first ability God gives you when you became born again is the ability to see in the spirit. The day you became born again, you have the ability to see in the realm of the spirit. You know, we only believe that prophets are the ones that see, right? No, the day you are born again, say, verily, verily, I say unto you, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom. So when he becomes born again, what happens? He begins to do what? To see the kingdom. So you can begin to see Jesus. You can begin to see God. You can begin to go to the throne room of God, like Revelation, book of Revelation. All those things that were written in Revelation, you can see them. But you begin to experience seeing the Spirit. You can begin to see angels. Another 